Welcome back to more Mega Man Maker 1.7. We are playing a tree level by 1498, and yeah, I have already played this stage, so whoa, I'm not going in blind here. Let us just wait these guys out here. But yeah, I, uh, I have already played this level. Uh, it is a pretty hard one, I gotta say. Like, inside on the forms, it would be a an easier level or a easier level here by Thoughty. Uh, he typically he makes very very difficult ones. Um, but yeah, even so I still struggle with this one. It does not have as many instant death pits as Thoughty's typical levels have. Um, and not as many spikes. So yeah, it's more like a level based on you know surviving enemies here. And yeah, I, I really like those kind of levels, so yeah. As you can see here, uh, we have some cool setups here with the flipping spike platforms. Yeah, I really like this. Like some very cool gimmick usage here. And this brown enemies. Yeah, he's, he's in a bad spot there. Not in a bad, you know. Not in a bad design spot. Like, I mean, I'm just saying, he's in a bad spot to shoot. <laughs> it's hard to reach. Um, Yeah, like. Yeah, just a very cool stage all around. And yeah, I really love this here too. We have the snakes slithering around the... I guess this is a branch. Um, I think we're inside a hollow branch here of the tree and... Whoa, okay. Get him out of there first. <laughs> you could also just, you know, take out the snakes with the weapons you're provided here with. Yeah. Typically when I play Friday Night Day stages, I do tend to use special weapons quite a bit. Let's see, yeah. You know, the bubble shield, or the, yeah, <laughs> the, what is it called? Yeah, water shield, I guess. Um, I know it's very effective against those ladybugs there, so, yeah. This guy, you can actually just reach through here. This weapon is amazing. It pierces right through gray weapon blocks, even, huh? Which is, uh, yeah, kind of overpowered, almost. And, yeah, this room is tricky. But with a little bit of timing, you don't even need to destroy those two brown guys there. And yeah, I know, uh, it's a ridiculous name, but they are actually called brown. <laughs> um, we're just gonna do this to speed this up a little bit. Um, well, well, no, yeah, nice, okay. We finally got him out of the way. And yeah, here, you just gotta lure him over here. And now we go. Very nice. And that's the next checkpoint, the second checkpoint. Um, and here we have Woodman. This is a pretty damn difficult boss. Um, I would like to be able to do this buster only here. I did manage to do it like when I played off camera there. Ooh, yeah. It took me a couple of tries to get him, but yeah, he's... Whoa, yeah. He deals so much damage, like... So you really gotta... You really gotta pay attention to what you're doing here, and yeah, I... I'm doing a very poor job of dodging! What the... Well, I might be dead here, but, you know... We can... <laughs> we can just try again. Dang it. It would've been so cool if I could just have gotten him on the first try, but yeah. Typically, you know, I have the most problems with, uh, you know, with jumping under him, but or sliding under him. But this time I managed that per perfectly fine, and I just I took all these leaf hits here, which, yeah, <laughs> those are the easiest ones or the easiest attacks of his to dodge. So yeah, that's not boding very well for me then if I can't dodge the leaves here. Okay, nice. Yo, yo, yo! Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 well. Come on now. Nice, nice. Nice. Well, I'm launching a comeback. <laughs> well, comeback aborted, I guess.
There we go, okay. Nice. Finally got him. But yeah, pretty tough boss. Um, you just gotta get the timing, you know, ready for when he's about to shoot out the shield there. And you can kind of tell when he's about to, like, pretty much as soon as all of his, you know, leaves have gone upwards. That is when he's about to make the jump there. Or, yeah, when he's about to fire, I should say. Uh, yep, nice, get out of there. And now, I'm gonna just reset and get this. I should have, yeah, I, I really didn't need to go up here to do that, but yeah. <laughs> whatever. Just whatever, and ouch. Nice. And I timed that very poorly, but yeah. Luckily, I didn't take damage. Nice. Yeah, that's a really cool use of the bounce balls there. And you see now, now we're up in space here, kind of. Yeah, we have these freaking... Well, Ring Ring guys. I believe they, they are called Ring Ring. Uh, weirdly named. Pretty much as weird as the brown enemy. They're like very... <laughs> yeah. Very poor naming there on Capcom's behalf, I think. Oh, well, let's see. Nice. Yeah, it's kind of fun to dodge those Mega Man 2 guys there, and wow, that was a very short segment. And look at this, now the tree's starting to become mechanized here, almost. Yeah. Very cool looking. Whoops. Uh, nice! Oh my goodness. Ooh, that was close. Whoop. Well, that. These. Nice. I'm taking a whole bunch of unnecessary damage here now. I gotta try and sharpen up a bit here. Actually, let us do this. Nice. And now, yeah, see, now we have some fun puzzles here. We gotta flip those two. S slide on here, and oh my goodness. <laughs> try and make the jump. Let's see here. Nice. Okay. And you see, now the tree is entirely. Well, mechanically. Me mechanical here. It's mechanical in its entirety, I guess, would be a better way of saying it. So, now we do this, and we gotta repeat this segment here. Yeah, do that, flip this again, and shoot him. And yeah, I love this part here, like, now the, you know, the snake segments has been changed up, now we have the brown enemies here with the angry bullet bill guys coming at us here as well. Um, oh, 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 yeah, it's much more deadlier than the previous branch segments, as I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> yeah, very hectic to dodge everything, and I might want to pop my E tank. Well, yeah, well, you know, what, tell what we're gonna do. I'm gonna shift this one out. I'm sorry if, that's bar if that bothers you, but yeah. I really don't wanna die. Nice, okay. Ooh. Just gonna stun him and move on along. Nice, okay. And I think this is the final boss here. Which we will try and do Buster only as well. I managed to do that off camera too. It took me like... Six or seven attempts, I think, before I got him. He's actually pretty tricky. The main... Yeah, the main thing to look out for here is... You know... To not slide into the spikes here, I feel like. Which... Yeah, it happens very easily. What with the bounce balls and... Like... Time and will slow down time and, you know, you might go too far or, you know... Not t t take the slowness into account. Uh, it's kind of weird, but... Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, I'm just kind of trying to predict when he's going to shoot there. D yeah, see, like that. Uh, the... Yeah. The slowness got undone when I did the slider, I think, and so I just started sliding very fast all of a sudden, and I went straight into the spike. So yeah, maybe... Dang it. Maybe I should try and walk a little bit more and not slide all the time here.
Dang it, I tried to jump that, but yeah. You saw what happened. <laughs> oh! Fudge! Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, do we have him this time? Perhaps. Wow. Oh my! <laughs> you know, I'm just going to cut out till I get successful attempt. See you in a bit. Oh yeah, okay. That's just... yeah. Let's just take the hit and be done with it. <laughs> Whew, but yeah, finally, finally managed to beat him. Um, it only... yeah. It only took me... what was that? Three or four attempts? Uh, it actually was faster than Woodman. <laughs> oh yeah, like, as, um, as you can see, I already uploaded the level. Uh, I think it's a very cool looking level. It has some very nice challenges, even though it is, well, not really even do it it's hard but yeah it has cool challenges and they are hard as well um, and yeah I really like that there aren't much instant death in here like it's all purely based on you know can you survive the enemies and get to the checkpoint there or the checkpoints so, like a very nice nicely executed level there um, it's uh, fun having to oh well it's fun having stages where you are more so focused on surviving from damage rather than you know just Dying by spikes or pits, uh, which is, yeah, something like many people usually just, you know, base levels. How should I phrase this? I feel like we see way too many levels in the Mega Man Maker community where we are more so focused on trying to kill the player via spikes or pits, uh, and yeah, it, it gets a little bit stale, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, so it's nice every once in a while, you know, where we get stages like this that, you know, uh, forces the player to survive enemies as well. Yeah, I really like this kind of concept here. So yeah, very nice level 498. Um, definitely worth every thumbs up in my book. And that will be it for that. So thank you guys so very much for watching and have a wonderful day.